What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we're gonna play a quick game of Would You Rather with two 2024 Alpro Male Stelvio Quadrifolio Carbon Editions. Only 65 being made for the North American market. And we have two here today. I wanna see which one you like the most, the spec and the price. So with that said, let's do a quick breakdown here at Alpro Male St. Petersburg and see which carbon edition you guys wanna take home. Now, major shout out to Alfa Romeo St. Petersburg for letting me take a spin around two Stelvio Quadrifolio Carbon Editions for a 2024 model year. If you guys want either of these cars or anything else they have in their inventory, make sure you guys check the link in the description for their website link and their phone number. Give them a call. Get one of these Alphas out of here today. Now, can you guys believe it? Here at Alfa Romeo St. Petersburg in Florida, out of the 65, we have two Stelvio Quadrifolio Carbon Editions, and we've already seen another one at the Alfa Romeo Lakeland dealership. So yeah, we're getting pretty lucky here, all right? Because this is a special model for 2024, and this is helping mark the end of the Quadrifolio and this Grigio platform when it comes to ice modeled Alfa Romeo. So with that said, quick rundown because I've done individual videos on both of these models. So make sure you guys check those out to get the full inspect details and run throughs. Really what I wanna to do today is something pretty quick. I wanna know which one, which one would you rather? Which one would you rather take home and put in your garage? All right, so between the two specs, they're different in a way, and some of the colors might clash for you. I wanna know what you guys think. Now under the hood, they are also the same because they roll with that Ferrari DeVry twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 engine, pumping out a total of 505 horses here in America with 443 pound-feet of torque paired to the eight-speed ZF transmission, 50-50 weight distribution, carbon fiber drive shaft, and Q4 Intelligent All-Wheel Drive System. We're looking at some legends with a 0-60 in about 3.6 seconds and a top speed of 177 miles per hour. And you don't think they can back it up? Let's just let them speak for you. So just as a refresher, the Carbon Edition is going to give you carbon fiber. So you'll see that throughout this vehicle, but there is a couple of other things that might make it a little bit more distinct than irregular quadrifolios. Now, for that, we will talk about what's new for the 2024 model year, which is the three plus three tri-LED headlamps. That's new for 2024. Also, the new grill pattern, as you guys will see in the grills, but for the carbon edition, as we mentioned, carbon fiber. So the carbon fiber blends in a little bit more against the volcano black paint that you see here today on this model here. So Volcano Black with the black carbon fiber, some might like it, some it might be a deal breaker because it doesn't stand out as much. It definitely stands out on this Rosso Etna paint with the carbon fiber Scudetto here, but this costs a little bit more money. So with that said, again, that might be a deal breaker for some, they like the contrast, but they have to pay a little bit more money for the paint. When it comes to the side profile for the carbon edition, well, you're gonna get 21 inch gloss black wheels that you can get on other models of the Quadrifolios with the monochrome center cap and drill rotors. The big thing here is the gold calipers. Gold calipers with black script on the carbon editions. There we go. So that is going to be a big deal breaker for some too because the gold against black might look a little bit better than gold against red you have to be the decider. Now for the Quadrifolios, you get the Quadrifolio Cloverleaf on the front fenders. And for the Carbon Edition, you will also have the Carbon Fiber Mirror Cap. Again, that Carbon Fiber is blending in with the black a little bit. It stands out because it is a mirror, but at the same time, blends in a little bit more than it would on the actual red here. So you'll see that, and it's a little bit more prominent. Now, the gloss black for the window motors and roof rails, well, that's the thing here as well and it blends in a little bit more and it makes it a little bit more stealthy on the black car versus the red car. Now, one thing you will notice is the black roof on the red car because it's a glass roof with the shark fin antenna compared to where you won't really notice that this is a glass panoramic roof because it's a black car with a black, uh, black shark fin antenna. So again, this blends in with a couple of things a little bit more and it's a little bit more just kind of like murderous, like it's murdered out <laughs> to where this is blood red, bloodshed, you know what I mean? Like, so there's a difference when it comes to contrast and overall looks, you know, this is more of a kind of, I don't want to say stealthier spec, but this one is flashier compared to this one. So it really depends on what you guys are thinking. Now, even when it comes to the rear for 2024, we do have 
the clear tail lamps as well. So those look really good because they brought that back for the 2024 model year. We also have quad exhaust tips, but that is quadrifolio based, done in chrome with the diffuser with the honeycomb grill feed through as well. Alpha Man Senior right there in the center, but the carbon edition brings black and red badging. Now the black and red badging does look good on the red car, but that red kind of clashes a little bit because it's a gloss red and not Russo Etna like the actual paint of the car. Then the black here for the Stelvio badge, and this is a dark meat owned look, so it's not like completely gloss black. But then you have the black badges on the black car, and then that black clashes because it's not the same black as Volcano Black, but then the red stands out for the four. Two four meaning all wheel drive, smart intelligent all wheel drive, and then the Stelvio badge right there. So again, small things, but they make a big difference. Those badges disappear on that car. They don't on this one. Now here's where things get interesting. The interiors for the carbon editions automatically come with red interior as standard. Red sport seats, you cannot option out a different color. Now you can see where this might be a problem because against the black car with gold calipers, maybe not as much, just a little bit of a clash with gold and red interior, but black and red makes a lot of sense, right? So you guys will see the red sport seats here. And again, you'll see a lot of the same carbon fiber-esque, Alcantara-esque, aluminum-esque that you normally see in these cars. Looks good, right? But then when you put it against the red car, then it's clashing. That red on red might be a deal breaker for some having this interior automatically being red with their red car. This this is a kind of like a, a leather as material red to where like this is a shiny like metal red. So it does, it will never match up completely. So looking at it, you can't tell much, but you can kind of see that red poking through. And again, the red here versus the red in there is going to be completely different when it comes to the spec. So this is where people might be a little indifferent on this colorway. Checking out that red on red versus the red on black. And again, you have to get this for the carbon edition. So there's no way around it. This is how this car comes. No different options. How do you guys feel about that? Now, just for reference, we have both of the stickers here so you guys can see the difference in the price, which isn't much at all. So we have the black carbon edition up at the top here, as you guys, guys will see, Stevio Carbon Edition 2024 and Volcano Black. That is 97320 after the 1595 destination. The red one, Stevio Quadrifolio Carbon Edition, done in a Rosso Etna. And 1595 for the destination is $98,410. So barely a $1,000 difference between the two. The only difference here between these two are the paint colors. Volcano Black is $600. Rosso Etna is 1750 other than that, your carbon edition package is 5,500 on both. Your driving assistance, Active Plus, 700 on both. And your dual paint sunroof, 1495 on both. So the exact same options, the exact same base MSRP of 87,370. The only difference is your color. So that makes the decision a little bit easier for you guys because you know you can just choose between a thousand dollars there but when it comes to putting these next to each other side by side the interior and exteriors with the caliper colors what do you guys think so at ninety-seven thousand for the black 98 for the red which carbon edition are you guys taking for the 2024 model year a thousand dollars is not much of a difference so if you were pinching pennies and you want to decide which spec you want, black on red, red on red. Drop those comments down below. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But make sure you guys also check the links in the description for the website link for Alpha Romeo St. Petersburg. Make sure you check out their number, inventory, everything they got. Give them a call. Now, make sure you guys also subscribe, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.